Okay, let's start by looking at a brief overview of the Becoming a Disciple Maker strategy. Becoming a Disciple Maker's mission is to help churches train a group of disciple makers to personally befriend and equip each new believer and member with the needed ministry skills to enjoy a lifetime of spiritual growth and evangelistic multiplication. Many of you are familiar with the evangelist Billy Graham. During his lifetime, he preached the gospel to more people than anyone in the history of Christianity, and we're deeply thankful for his personal endorsement. Let me read it for you. I would like to encourage you to participate in becoming a disciple maker. In my opinion, no one is more qualified to speak to these issues than Dr. Billy Hanks, Jr., whom I've known for many years. Let me explain that we're using Becoming a Disciple Maker DVDs to help you to lead your small group. However, when you lead your small group, you will only need your leader's guides. Please listen closely as I read the next important paragraph. For years, the Lord's churches have overlooked their most valuable asset for fulfilling their assigned mission. Ironically, this neglected spiritual resource is their own newest believers. Why are these new Christians so effective in terms of outreach? It's because they're typically overflowing with inner joy and still share natural relational bridges with their non-Christian friends. If we can help each new believer and member mature and learn to witness, then they can cross those relational bridges and begin leading their friends, family members, and work associates to Christ. As an example, I'd like to share a personal story from my own church. It shows how one person can make a dramatic difference in a church's ministry if they are personally discipled. Perry became a new Christian and was immediately discipled by Jill Parvin and taken through a call to joy, which has seven one-to-one -one training sessions and a call to growth, which has 11 one-to-one -one sessions for Christians. Perry was shown how to grow spiritually and then share her faith. She was a member of a bowling team and soon led Debbie Piper to the Lord and discipled her. Debbie's husband, Bill, saw such a huge change in her life that he became a Christian and was personally discipled. Rebecca saw such a change in her parents' lives that she became a Christian, and then Sarah, then Jay, then their granddaughter, Emily, became Christians. Next, Perry started sharing her faith with her neighbor, Faith, and led her to the Lord and discipled her. Then her husband Travis saw such a change in her life that he also became a Christian. Perry had another bowling friend by the name of Irene. Perry led her to the Lord, discipled her, and her husband Tim saw such a change in Irene's life that he also became a Christian. Following this, Perry shared her faith with her mother Lorraine and led her to the Lord and discipled her. Spiritual multiplication is God's strategy for fulfilling the Great Commission. Let me ask you a question. What would have happened if Perry would have been treated like most Christians who join our churches today? It may have gone something like this. Hello, Perry. We're so happy that you've become a Christian. We sincerely hope that you learn to grow spiritually, and we hope that you learn to spend time with God each morning, and we hope you learn to read the Bible, and we hope you learn to find insights from the Word of God. And we hope you learn to pray, and we hope that you learn to study the Bible, and we hope you learn how to give an evangelistic book away, and we hope you learn how to give your personal testimony, and we hope you learn how to lead others to Christ using the Scripture. What would have happened? Well, this probably is what would have happened. Just think about how many people would still be lost and on their way to eternity without Christ if Perry had not been personally discipled. You can see why life-to-life -life disciple making is so critical to churches that are serious about successfully fulfilling the Great Commission. We thank God that Perry was discipled, and because of that, these people received Christ and became workers within the church. This same spiritual multiplication can take place naturally in your church, and it can happen in every Christian church worldwide. Becoming a Disciple Maker strategy is based on 2 Timothy 2.2. Billy and I are equipping you, the small group leaders, 
to equip a group of disciple makers who will personally care for each new believer and member that joins your church so they can grow in Christ and multiply spiritually, just like Perry Miller did in our real life illustration.